Actively involving students in their reading also means having them interact personally with the stories that they are reading. And creating a Venn diagram allows students to think about the story from a more personal perspective and to share this perspective with their friends. First, ask students to choose a character from the story they are reading who they identify with in some way. Then, ask them to find five sentences in the story about that character that they have chosen. They should write the sentences in their notebooks. And then, ask them to write five similar sentences about themselves. So, for example, they could write about Tom Sawyer. Tom lives in the USA. And then, write a sentence about where they live. I live in Turkey. The information is different, but the sentences are similar. Okay, so give them the handout of the Venn diagram. Ask them to write the sentence about themselves in this circle. Then ask them to do this in pencil, as they will have to make some changes as they complete their diagram. Now ask them to look at their sentences about the character. If they are different, ask them to write them in the second circle, here. If the information is the same, they should write it in the middle circle, here. So, for example, they would write the sentence, I am Turkish, in this circle. Tom is American, in this circle. And in the middle circle, Tom and I live near a river. As students begin to understand the concept of a Venn diagram, they will want to change their sentences. That's why it's important to use a pencil. Tell them they should have between three and five sentences in each of the three circles. As students finish, talk about the diagrams that they have made and then display them in class. The Venn diagram will help students think about their reading in a different way as they relate their own lives and their world to the stories they are reading. This personal involvement can slowly build critical thinking skills that they can use to improve their learning in other areas.